through my channel. So as you can see, my tree has been gingified. I absolutely love it. I thought I loved my fall tree the best. I absolutely love this tree. I'm still gonna make sure and go over it. Might add some more. I wanna add some more green ornaments. I know I have some in my stash. Just some green uh, round ornaments. And uh, the pillows, I'm gonna be ordering some velvet green pillow covers. Um, I feel like I want to break up all that red. I ran to Burlington to get that Joy to the World pillow. It just, last night I was just like, I made a mistake by leaving that behind. And I didn't see it. It was there the last time I went, I left it. Because I didn't want to pay $16.99 for one pillow. When I went back today, it wasn't where I seen it. Somebody, that pillow had been moved all over Burlington, but I found it. And it got in my cart. I love it. It goes well with the other pillows. Um, <clears throat> so this is as far as I got. I'm not finished. Still got to make my DIY gingerbread houses. Hopefully I'll have those done by Friday. Um, what else? I started in my downstairs bathroom, not finished. I'll put a picture of how far I went. I just always decorate the top of my toilet uh, with something, make it look fancy because if, I, if I'm entertaining or have company, that's the bathroom that they would use. So I like how that looks with those beautiful penguins. I need to find my acrylic reindeers that I had. And one of you, Joy, sent me a DM on Instagram about someone who made her own gingerbread housing houses using those metal houses that Target has and the ceramic ones, which I have. Um, <clears throat> and it's in I Spy's truck right now because we were going to drop off from storage because I pulled out all my decor that I'm not using this year because I changed my theme and was going to take it to storage. I believe my reindeers are in that same bag with them. So I'm going to also do some DIY gingerbread houses using those um, because they came out so good from this video you sent me. Thank you, Joy. And a lot of you have sent me emails and DMs letting me know where to find my gingies, and I appreciate you. You guys always thanks, thank me for sharing, but I'm thanking you guys because you guys share with me as well. I'm not the all-seeing and all-knowing <laughs> diva, okay? I can't be everywhere. Um, someone even said in the comments, CVS, and I live like walking distance, like five minutes away from a CVS that I hardly ever go into. So I appreciate you all. And we're at 7,500 7, subscribers. Thank you very much. Welcome to all those that are new. I hope you enjoy my content and you continue to stick with me. Um, I promise, I promise, I promise, guys, the first 7K giveaway is right over there and I have seven boxes set up to ship that's right there will be seven winners but you need to think about this it's a giveaway but it's a giveaway with the homework assignment but a fun homework assignment and I really put a lot of thought into this and I hope that the seven people that win will accept the challenge if you're not down for the challenge wait for the second seven that's why there's two 7k giveaways because not everybody might want to participate okay because it's not just receiving something I'm asking you for something in return as well but it's fun and uh, I hope you guys like it I'm excited about it so give me till Friday because even though now I finally Amazon held me up um, but I finally got everything that I want to go in those boxes they're already set up I just have to add one more thing and I have to do something okay um, so I work tonight, I work tomorrow night, so please, Friday, even, I'm coming, it's going to be Friday, so even if you see the time, 5 o'clock, where is she, 6 o'clock, where is she, just give me time, <laughs> give me time, because I don't know what kind of nights I'm, I'm, I'm in for, okay, I don't know what I'm walking into, but just, I'm going to do it, and if I fall short on my end, I'm just going to announce it Friday, but I'm hoping that's not going to be the case, okay. So let's get into this haul. I shared the walkthrough with you guys. It was my last week's truck day finds. I can't believe it's already almost Friday again and we'll be getting a new shipment and hopefully a new shipment with new things. I haven't been to Dollar Tree at all today and I haven't been yesterday. I just ran in there last night. I made the TikTok viral lasagna soup. Oh my God, I don't think I'll make lasagna the old way <laughs> again. Now mine came out more like a um, pasta dish because I just could not get in the concept of adding that much broth. You have to add, some people add chicken broth and beef broth. 
I added chicken broth and I added a little bit of beef broth because I'm getting nervous, y'all. But next time I'm going to go all the way. Um, there's so many different recipes on TikTok. Just put in lasagna soup. It was delicious. And I made a salad and I used those uh, banana peppers from Dollar Tree. I'm picking me up a couple of more jars. They were delicious. Even I Spy had some of his salad. I felt like I was at the Olive Garden, y'all, but better. As you know, the Olive Garden be catfishing you. That food looks so good on TV. And then when you get there, some things are good. But, you know, they say it's authentic food made from Italy. I don't know. I think it's, it's frozen, but whatever. Let's get into this haul. So I, I, they dropped some name brand closeouts this week. Even in Knotville. Okay, guys, I'm still in Knotville, even though we've been doing a little bit better. I said we upgraded to Hopeville, but I don't want to celebrate too soon. So these wax melts came in. And I'm telling you, you smell them on cold. They're very, very strong. I mean, very, very strong. They're from Cat Kate's Home Candles. And a lot of people chimed in on Instagram and said Walmart sells these. And these were going for $10 or $12 at Walmart. So these are wax melts. Now, I love cucumber. This is rosé cucumber sipper. And look how big these wax melts are. And this is cucumber melon mint sangria. The packaging is very pretty. Only four of these came in a box. So a lot of you couldn't find them. They only gave four. So if, if somebody opened that box and they said, oh, wow, Kate's Home Candles. I'm going to buy them all. Boom. <laughs> they were gone. If, if one person bought two. That only meant three other people could find. And that's if the other three didn't just clear their shelf. They only gave four in a box. These smell so good. You can get these for Christmas. It's giving me more like a Mother's Day type thing, a birthday type thing. Um, but you can give them. I mean, you know, the scents seem kind of summery to me. Um, but, you know, it smells good. Very, very good. So I was surprised about them. I never even heard of her, to be honest with you. And Walmart, I could not believe it. I did go to Walmart today. I'm like, that's my new thing. Especially since they're renovating that one. I Spy went along with me and, and he even, usually he's like, he gets his thing, he's ready to go. I was ready before him. And um, I seen Goose Creek candles in Walmart. I've always wanted to try their candles. I always see the advertisement will pop up on my Facebook feed. But, you know, I'm going to see $26, but they always have a sale. And then shipping, that's where it will make me not, I, <laughs> that shipping just gets to me. I, that's why I pay for my Prime membership faithfully, because I hate paying for shipping. Um, so I never ordered from them. And the reviews were mixed. Some people loved them, and I would read the comments. Some people didn't like them. So now they're at Walmart, so I'm excited that I can try them. They're $12.99 for the three wicks, and they do have wax melts. So if you are a Goose Creek candle fan... They're at Walmart and you might can order them online, but that's enough about that. So sticking with good smelling things, I was surprised because when they had the other toilet sprays before, they never made it to my Walmart. They had the toilet spray and I thought it was something else. Never made it, but this is put a lid on it. Pre-poo toilet spray in the scent of sea salt. And it's from Great Sense. And I think Great Sense has a lot of products at Dollar General. That's somewhere else. I have not been in a minute. Dollar General um, down the $1 aisle. I've been popping in looking for Christmas stuff. But I just, either I'm on the way to work and I don't have the time. So I just peek, nothing new, get back in the car. So I got two of these. And what does sea salt smell like? It does not smell bad. I was thinking sea salt. And I thought I seen on hauls some people found different ones but this actually smells in my opinion very good so I bought two of those and they gave us a lot of name brand um car air fresheners this week things that I would find in Habville um so this is from Scents it's gel vent clips and I smell this from the packaging they do have two scratch and sniffs on the packaging so you can smell it yourself one is mandarin splash and the other is springtime I purchased two I'm usually not a fan of the vent clips, but you know what? I never tried this brand. I'm going to give it a try. And the fact that I can smell it without even putting it in my vent is a good sign. So I may share one with my mom. These are great stocking stuffers, guys. We could use air fresheners in our car all year round. 
I'm going to give these to I Spy. This is really cool. This is from Scents, and this is from their Lux collection. Carbon Fiber. And what does that smell like? To me, it almost smells like new car scent. Or that other, you know that tree air freshener, the black one. Was it? Is it black ice? Maybe it's black ice that it smells like. But it is kind of a masculine scent. I would give this to one of you know, the men in my life, whether it be my son or um, I spy. Um, I, you know, unfortunately, my father, he's not here anymore. But I'm just saying I would give it to a man um, personally. Um, not to say a woman might not like it for her car, but it's giving me that black ice scent. I know me. I'm more of a sweet gourmet scent lover. That's my thing. And then they had these really, really cute. These Hot Wheel air fresheners roger dodger um press here so i guess you press okay again it's like a masculine scent but the packaging the, the the actual air freshener is so freaking cute and it doesn't go in your vent it has the plastic hanger for you to hang it up so i thought this was pretty cool all right they're giving us a lot of new air fresheners just random i only got one the black light bulb, I didn't get any of because uh, Pookie's finds, I believe she did a review and it wasn't positive. And I trust her. I don't know this lady. Never spoke to her in my life, but I do look for her Dollar Tree reviews. I have returned things based on her reviews. Even though we all are different, I just don't have a dollar twenty-five to waste. So, um, yeah. So, this is a color-changing light bulb. And turn off and on to cycle through each available color. Um, it has a whole bunch of different colors. It sounded interesting. Um, built-in memory function. I thought it was pretty cool. I just got one though. I just got one and I'm seeing this at multiple locations. Sometimes my local stores when there's something you know the latest and greatest comes they only send it to one or two stores but um, I did see this at multiple stores but I only got one just to try it. Let's get food out the way. I don't have a lot. Starting to see the creator gift food items. Now my local stores, I only seen the cheese. Matter of fact, this wasn't even locally. This was, I believe, in Kingston, okay? Um, I got two. I did eat one because I didn't eat breakfast that morning. I, that's the morning that I woke up like at the crack of dawn to go to Walmart hunting gingerbread. And uh, I went all the way to Kingston. Um, yeah, so they had the cheeses. Just check your expiration date because I shared with you in the walkthrough. Lady sees hauls and lifestyles. She's another YouTuber. She does Dollar Tree hauls. Very entertaining. Um, she had hauled some Harry and David snack mix. And I have been waiting for some Harry and David's items because I want to make a Harry and David's gift basket for somebody. Like I did last year. And uh, her, it, the stuff was expired. These are not. The best buy date on this one is 7 24 So you have time. And yesterday... I had ran to Wilson because they had the uh, Walmart small gingerbread treat jar. Um, I was able to buy it online, pick up in store, and I had just been in Wilson the night before. But to be honest with you, it was dark and I wanted to hurry up and get home because there are no lights on the parkway. I, where I live, thank God, in Greenville, we have street lights at night. So that's why I'm able to haul after dark. But... I just wanted to hurry up and get home because all you see on the side of the road are dead deer. And I just, I already have night vision issues, so I just went straight home. So I don't even know, I would have stopped. That's how desperate I am for gingerbread items. Girl, stop lying, you would have stopped. But um, I went to that, um, popped in that Dollar Tree, which is right next to the Walmart. And surprisingly, I have a haul. So that haul will be coming up and that walkthrough will be coming up. And they had one of the jams, the apple butter. So be on the lookout. I still have apple butter that's still good left over from last Christmas. It is so delicious. And I've seen somebody show a blackberry one or some kind of uh, a mixture of different jams or whatever that they had that they didn't have last year. At least didn't make it near me. So be on the lookout because you can make yourself a nice basket. Something else you can throw in a gift basket that I hold is this green olive and red pepper tapenade. I've never had this before in my life. Uh, Lindsay, the store manager at um, Winterville, she said it's really good on crackers and stuff like that. And they have it like on this like bread, maybe that artisan bread. I don't know. I'm nervous because I'm not 100% an olive fan. I don't know if I want to open it or put this in that Harry and David's gift basket. 
but you only live once try it i don't know so most likely i might try it or i might save it and uh start collecting items i already have the k-pods um you know for the harry and david's gift basket walmart has a lot of beautiful gift baskets i need to go back there tomorrow had i known that he would be as entertained as he was and i wouldn't have had to rush I would have recorded more. I did share a short because they have so many different candles, wax melts. It's out of control, guys. And the pricing is really, really good. Um, but they have so many cute gift options. If you just don't want to be bothered and you just want to just grab and go, see the bargain diva in me will try to make something because I think I'm saving. When you think about the time, the effort, and by the time you buy each individual piece, you spent the same amount. I think, I, I don't know, so I'm on the fence. Are you going to make this gift basket or are you just going to, um, it's just easy for me to go get one. And I don't know, I'm on the fence, guys. But something else you can throw in a gift basket. They have a ton of the Martinelli's back in stock. Sometimes you can find the regular apple cider all year round. But around Christmas, you get the different varieties. I think I've seen a grape, apple grape. This is the rosé one, which is really good. They do have the apple cider, the sparkling apple cider. So be on the lookout. And these, these are good. So, you know, nice gift basket. And something else you can pair. Y'all know I love Landmark's Confection more than I should. They came out with these really, really, like... Ups, like just deluxe chocolate or you know it's giving me like um what's that brand godiva you know what i mean the look the packaging and it's eight individual bars i already ate one y'all not all at the same time because it's the bars are divided so it's great when you feel like a piece of chocolate the only thing that is misleading is you see how they have the caramel so it's not that when you break open a godiva you break it in half the caramel just kind of runs out no the caramel is built into this chocolate filling and i don't like that because y'all are misleading look how you put it on the um packaging well i guess they're saying then and they, they can argue that they're not because the caramel is just drizzled there they're not actually showing you inside so you're not going to have runny caramel but it is a chocolate filling that is flavored with caramel but it is still good i ain't gonna lie to you it is still good and i did find on an upcoming walkthrough you'll see they have a cappuccino one so this is like good stuff to give people guys if i could get it together you know what i mean you put it all together some coffee some cheese i don't know if i would get the sausage from dollar tree but i'm just saying you could get the crackers you could put together something so i'm on the fence i don't know what i'm doing yet but whatever it is if you're interested i will share Last food find is this. I love this trail mix. This is from Island Choice. It's a mountain trail mix. It has peanuts. It has M&Ms. It has raisins, um, almonds, and cashews. It's so good, y'all. And it says M&Ms candy, okay? So it's not, you know, sometimes they'll say chocolate candies or whatever. Um, it says M&Ms, guys. And it does have the M on it. So this really is for $1.25. You're getting a nice amount. I fold it down you see how much you're getting okay so you're getting five ounces and it's a decent trail mix I told you guys when I went back I was going to get more and I did I hold four more of these flower eyebrow pencils I already went through one of them and part of that is because it is a very fine tip if you press too hard it breaks off so it must have broke off like four times on me because I have to remember don't press too hard Erica you don't have to press hard and on one end, it's, um, I don't use the other part. So one end is the uh, brow pencil. And then the other end, I never opened it for you guys before, is this. But shoot, this is going to wipe them off. So I don't even use this part. <laughs> I don't even use that part, but you could, okay? And this is, so you, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I If you press too hard, that piece breaks off. But I love it. And I have quite a bit of stash now. And I, I ain't going to lie to you. If it's still there when I go back, I might get more because I like it. Um, and I don't know when I'll see this again, to be honest with you. I'm surprised we got this. Because that's just how it is. And we also did get some other name brand makeup. Surprise, surprise. You ever see the TikTok? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it was a surprise. Because we don't get name brand makeup all the time so i'm wearing one of them um and i have it's not near me 
I had this, I don't know, the cover girl, red lippy. I wore it in a few videos recently. Everything was fine. Well, today I went to go put it on. It's so cakey and pasty. A lot of these products I think are just old, guys. I just think that they're old. That's why they're at Dollar Tree. You know, um, let's just keep it real. These are closeouts. They didn't sell and, you know, they, they want to get something. You know, they want to recoup whatever money they can get from it and they sell it to Ollie's big lots because you see the same things at those stores so you know that ollie's i see a lot of the same dollar tree products but they're just charging more than the 125 but this one is i'm wearing today so it's like a red but it's not i don't know it may look red on camera but if you look at it i don't know maybe it is a red they're calling it gel inferno i wish it wasn't as shiny i'm a matte lover i love a matte lippy but this is what it is so I'm wearing it. It's very pigmented. I'm wearing it. It's just very shiny. Okay, I like something with less shine. And this is a glitter top coat, which is pretty cool. You know, you're going out, maybe you're going clubbing, uh, New Year's Eve, dancing, girls night out. Okay, a glitter top coat. So I'll let you know how I love that. And we got these eye makeup things from, who's this? L'Oreal. This one is brown sugar. It's two shades of brown. It's infallible paints, eyeshadow. It's an ombre eyeshadow combo. So as you can see, that's the lighter color. That's the darker color. They're calling this brown sugar. And this is a green one. But I want to get the name. Army Camo. Again, it's a lighter green and a darker green. So these are eyeshadows. They did have other colors. So just check out the in-store, guys. I'll put the link in the comment box. For those that are new... When I do a haul, if I have a shop with me attached to that haul, scroll down to the comment section and that's where I'll put the link just in case you didn't see it because I don't buy everything I see. I buy enough, but I don't buy everything I see. Okay? So I was excited to find these hair clips. Now, I seen these when I was editing that Zebulon video and this was on my wish list, but I forgot to be honest with you. I forgot I was looking for it because I keep a mental wish list. But sometimes, especially... When you walk into a Dollar Tree and it's just a new item after new item, you just get excited and overstimulated. And sometimes you miss things. And when editing a video, you're like, it's right there, what I was looking for. And I seen these, but I was not, I mean, Zebulon is an hour from me. So these are hair clips. Now, Dollar Tree gave us similar ones and I did buy them and they work great. But I think you only got one. You only got one. They're giving you a set of four. How cool is that? And these come in three different colors. I got pink and gray, and they had like a lavender color. Very, very nice. Pair these with those spa headbands, some face masks. You put together such nice gifts, guys. These are for me. These are for me. When you wash your hair and you want to grease your scalp, moisturize your scalp, you can separate your hair. Or if you're curling your hair, you can separate your hair. I love them. Okay, if you're working with your wig, styling your wigs, a lot of people curl their wigs, they style their wigs and stuff like that. Me, I like it already styled. I don't, if, if I want to do hair, I'll do my natural hair. But those clips, you can't beat it. $1.25 for four, you can't beat it. Um, I did find the pre cut parchment paper wipes from Shore Fresh. I have bought a wax paper from Dollar Tree before, and it said that it was good for baking, and it wasn't. Every time I would put it in the oven, it would smoke. I don't know if the brand was Shore Fresh, but I'm going to try it because I use baking paper all the time. Um, and I usually get mine from Dollar General. They have one down the $1 aisle that works great. I never had problems with it. But for some reason, the one I buy from Dollar Tree, and it says, I check because there's two different ones. There's one that you're not supposed to put in the oven, and there's one that is oven safe. This is saying that it's oven safe up to 428 degrees. I don't know, guys, but I'm going to try it. I don't remember the brand, to be honest with you. So I did get that. And in the Christmas section, look what I found. This is a square cookie box. It has a Christmas tree, and you already know it has a Gingy on it. So it was coming home with me. And here are the two stickers, peppermint labels that you can close the box up. I just think this is so freaking cute. I did get that. And I have one huge massive bin 
of Christmas stuff to pull out and go through. And in my closet, I found the taper candles that I found at the end of last year's season. Now, this year in Zebulon, I picked these up. And uh, was it Zebulon or Rocky Mount? I can't. From one of those stores, I got these candles. I'm not a fan. I told you guys in the haul, I wish it was more vibrant red, right? Nice taper candles, though. Very nice, very on trend, right? But I found these guys. This is from... This is from Luminescent, same maker, but these are more red, and I like these better. But this is, like I said, these are more on trend. You see how the tops are different? But this will be fine for me. So I was so happy I found these because I am taking these back. I am. I, I'm, I'm not keeping things I don't want anymore, and I'm not just giving away brand new stuff that I've never used before. Um, I'm going to exchange it because like I said, you always can, you always need something you always can use aluminum foil. I go through those paper plates like crazy. So I'll go back and exchange it for something else. But I just found these and I just like the brighter red. This is more of a darker red. This is a brighter to me, Christmas red. This could be Christmas red too. I don't know, but I like the color of these better, but I kind of like the tops, but you can't have it all girl. So I'm going to rock with these because I bought those last year and never used them. I hope you like my tree. I am loving it. I love the green um, Christmas picks that I put in there. Um, I love my black tree. I was contemplating taking it down, buying a green tree. But then after Christmas, as you can see, my decor is black, gold, gray, white. I would want my black tree back. So I'm happy I went with it. But adding the green picks and I may pick up a few more um, to stick in there. I'm um, going to be doing my centerpiece this weekend, my dining room centerpiece. So that's all I did. What I showed you is all I got to. My kitchen will not be until this weekend. Hopefully I get to that. And my dining room. Hopefully I get to that. I have to make my centerpiece. I will share a video if you guys are interested. Oh, decorate the bar cart. The list, the list. But I'm glad I'm starting early. I, I'm glad I'm starting early, but I'm so happy with the tree. I'm going to play around with the pillows by adding some green. I'm uh, going to get the covers, though. I'm not buying more pillows. And uh, I need to tweak my coffee table. That might not be how it is, okay? Like I said, once I get my gingerbread houses made, find my acrylic reindeer, which is probably in um, the bags and I Spice truck, and go through what's in there because I probably have brand new stuff that I never used and I wasn't going to do a bedroom tree again this year for two years I had a Christmas tree a five-foot Christmas tree in my bedroom I know it's a lot of tree down here but I want a tree in my room I think but I was thinking about getting a Dollar Tree Plus or a five below four foot tree up for my bedroom I don't know I said I wasn't going to do it I got rid of the tree last year I said I was done I had a white tree in my bedroom um for two years it's pretty when you're laying in bed you see the christmas lights and crazy 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 but thanks for rocking with your girl thank you for 7500 subscribers i appreciate you remember give me till friday guys whether i'm finished or not i'm just going to reveal it like i said now i'm ready i have everything i got the last thing today but i just have to do something to go along so i would like to roll it out um the right way but I don't want to keep you guys waiting as well. And we still have November's Monthly Wow, which is a, is a Christmas giveaway is coming up. And then the second part of the um, 7K giveaway, because some people might not be interested in this first one. I hope you guys are, because uh, I got the idea from y'all. So if y'all are not interested, I'm going to feel the type of way. But thanks for rocking with your girl. Welcome to everyone who's new. Thank you to all of you who've been with me, rocking with me. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.